Hey guys, I've got a lot of requests for a quick water changing video. Um, I already started on that, on that tank, but I um, figured I'd show you how to do, or how I do my my water changes in a quick and efficient manner. Um, so I'll just run through that real quick and at the end, um, if I skipped anything or if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, we basically tried to figure out a system that would be able to change not only these, um, you know, 60, uh, sorry, 55 gallons here, uh, 55 gallon tanks here, but, you know, also these tanks, you know, 30s, 20s, um, 200, I think it's 220, 260, I forget, um, 120 here, um, and then these three 60 gallon tanks over here. Um, Basically, the name of the game for us was to make everything as quick, efficient, and um, just kind of user-friendly as possible to accomplish water changing. Because, you know, as discus people know, it's all about water quality. So, to start with, I'll show you what I do with my water, or where I keep it. I have age water barrels here, 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 and over here. These blue drums are each 55 gallons. Um, they all have piping units to, these are fill up valves, fills into here, fills down to the bottom, and this line will run from here, here, all the way back behind to fill up, sorry, down and around to fill up these drums here. Um, in addition, I have pumps connected to this line here, and this line here, and they both run up into this set of valves, back flow, flow preventer, top drains, pumps more, should I say, down here, stopped by this valve, again with another back flow valve. Um, and then these two valves are controlling um, basically the water flow of these two drums. Um, these are also connected by similar mechanisms. Um, we have um, the main drain line is right there so I can drain this tank pretty quickly and then the fill up line and then the drain line or the pump line connected to valves. Got lots of little arrows so that we can keep track of things in case we ever forget. Over here. Um, so you just saw 200 gallons of aged water. Other 200 gallons would be in this 100 gallon drum. In that 100 gallon drum, these two drums are connected by that white pipe in the middle for simultaneous fill up. Um, what you see here is our airline and our heater, um, um, basically where our heaters are, are plugged into. Turn that off real quick. Whenever I want to turn off the heaters, the airlines are going into each of these guys. It's hard to see, but for AIDS water, it's good to keep everything aerated. So when it goes in, the water goes in the tank, you're giving your fish aerated water. Um, in addition to aerated, aerated water, the point a lot of, uh, you know, the main hype around aged water is dechlorination, getting rid of the chlorine and chloramines in your water. I have used Prime my whole life, um, but a new product I've been using is Seachem Safe. And what I've been doing is, in order to save money and just be, you know, efficient, is that I have pre-weighed out the amount of safe powder that it takes to treat 400 gallons. What I do is I make a 40 milliliter solution and based on that 5 milliliters, 5 milliliters is one pipette, one of these guys will treat 55 gallons of water 
So my solution here will treat all my aged water. And what I do is basically go in and I know there's a hole here, squeeze into there. I put this into there and those would get the same kind of treatment. So let me show you how, you know, after that's all said and done, you got aged water and treated water, aerated, yada, yada, yada. Let me show you how I would change this tank. Um, as you can see in this tank, there is a pipe. Go out of the way, fish. Um, and that pipe basically acts as a fill up and drain and runs from here all the way behind this tank, back behind, and it is connected to this valve. So if I want to drain that tank, if I want to drain that tank, I'm going to open up my right valve. I know that this is for that tank. Um, based on its position in this apparatus. To drain outside, I need to open up this bottom master valve. It's hard to see it, but if I open up that valve, what happens is the water is going to flow from there all the way around here, down, 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 around the backs of these tanks. It's going to go through the wall. We drill the hole in the wall. And I'll go outside. Comes out these two pipes. And there you see the water coming out. Go back inside. Hold outside. Okay, so you see the water going down already? Pretty quick, right? Um, while that's working its way down to so 25% to start. And I'll finish 25% with my other method um, in this closet here. It's kind of my plumbing operations uh, headquarters. I got, uh, if I have time, I'll show you what these do or how I use this. This is my hot water line, cold water line. Um, this is a little pre-filter before it goes into my aged drums, aged water drums. And um, we'll see if I have time to do that. I have water here. All right, this big boy is my line that I'm going to use to manually siphon out water, so I can get a, um, so I can clean the bottom. Obviously, just draining water out of pipe is fast and kind of, you know, if I'm feeling lazy one day, I don't want to stick things in tanks. It's a quick way to change water. Um, I'm going to close that valve, close that, so water stops draining from the outside of the house. And I'm going to finish off by manually um, cleaning these tanks for a better bottom clean because we, we changed water, right? We got rid of water, but as you can see, there's still a lot of crap, literally crap on the bottom. What I do is I have a... Um, different length siphon for each of my tanks not each of my tank different size tanks so this is my 55 gallon you can see it there what I'm gonna do is I take this bring it over here this opens up like this a quick um, release kind of thing put that in there sorry push that down, down, allows for versatility and um, a way to quickly change your tips so you don't have to have a million different tips. Open this valve here. All right. Now, a lot of this stuff is automated via remote control. You get to see that right now. I'm sure you just heard it turn on. Suck that up. Stopped it real quick. Move that out of the way. Don't want to drain that. I don't know where that came from. Turn it back on. 
really want to do a good job I'd scrub it but just try and do a real quick video And the fish don't really care too much, but sucked up a little bit more than I wanted to but um, so now I'm gonna fill up these tanks and to do that sorry okay so these tanks these two drums are treated already um, now I'm gonna fill both these up at the same time to do that I'm gonna press this button here it turns on the pump here open this valve, come down here, right, left, so these two tanks right here are going to start filling up, um, if I kept that one valve, the master valve as I call it, that drains to the outside, if I kept that open, then pretty much all that water from that drum would drain to the outside of the tank. But um, having that valve does allow me to have a little bit of versatility here. We'll watch these go up. If I run out of time on this video, I'll try to post a part two and pick up where I left off. able to fill up all these tanks and you know do a full water change if I was to do 50% water change on all these tanks um, everything in the room would take me about, about an hour I'd say um, again I wouldn't be taking a video and I'd be a little bit more efficient about it and quick and doing multiple things at one time um, but for the sake of just getting something on tape for you guys uh, I'll just do these two tanks. You can hear that tank, that drum is starting to empty. Leave it off. Turn on my bottom one. Put the bottom down. Close the top. finished so uh, watch that right one almost get filled I'm gonna have my hand here I'm gonna close it just close the right valve this is still filling so I'm gonna fill now so I'm gonna close my left turn it off for turn it off for now so these two tanks are filled to fill this guy back up I'm gonna open up this valve and come all the way around here open. I'm sure you just heard that go on. And now this is getting filled up. I think I already mentioned the, the float valve component. Maybe I didn't, but as this water raises, there's a float valve hanging